Hey, 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 happy fun day eight. Doing one fun thing every day this year in 2020 from the fun book to one fun thing every day. This is actually the third in a series of daily challenges I've done over the last couple of years. Sneak a fun cup of, or fun sip of coffee from, actually I have caramel coffee today, which is super fun, um, from my buffalo cup from, I want to say... Out west. The kids got it out west when they were camping this week or this weekend. Yeah, when they were camping this weekend. When they were camping this past summer, they got a set of really cool four mugs from Yellowstone National Park, which are awesome. I think I've used them, or I will continue to use them throughout this amazing 365 day challenge. Today is a sayings day from our little journal book, Do One Fun Thing Every Day. And it says, Andy, Andy, magnifying glass. When you hug someone, you learn something else about them, an important something else. This was said by E.L. Konigsberg in From the Mixed Up Files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler. No idea what that is, but I'm sure it's a book or a story or something. It's probably very famous just because I haven't heard of it. It doesn't mean it isn't awesome. It isn't famous. If you care, you can go look it up. I am not going to. I have other things to do today. But our challenge today says the best hug I got today. Now, my dad had a saying, he passed away five years ago, and it's past Christmas time, and he always said hugs aren't any good if you keep them. He taught my sisters and I and my mom, and he demonstrated this throughout his entire life. He was a hugger, which is really interesting because his family was not the hugger types. They weren't huggers, but he totally was, maybe because he was the youngest boy in his family, um, the second from the youngest of six kids. And so he was a hugger. Anyway, so hugs aren't any good if you keep them. I love that saying. I live by that philosophy. And it's really fun that my son-in-law, my daughter's husband, is a one of those people that is a h amazing hugger. You just feel the love when you hug him. He is just a hugger. And no matter who he's hugging, he hugs everyone in a way that makes them feel special with his whole heart. And so I wish he was here. He's out in Colorado working, but I wish he was here to give me a hug today because he would be my best hug. But my granddaughter, my daughter, my son, anyone that you love and care about that you get a hug from, it's always special. So who are you going to hug today? Who will you get your best hug from today? Share in the comments below because this pajama grandma, Sharon Hornelson, would love to know. Well, let's go out and have some fun. I don't, I can't think of hardly anything more fun than hugging. Hugging is fun. So hug somebody today. Just go out and hug somebody today and see how good it makes you and them feel. Now it can't be one of those fakey eh, hugs. It's got to be a real hug. A real hug with genuine emotion and genuine caring. All right. Have fun today. I will of course be tomorrow.